Hello and welcome to my blog, uh, which is in fact the last blog before the general election um, in the early part of May. Um, as the memories of last month's budget now recedes and becomes yesterday's news, uh, we can now look forward to the general election and the prospects that may bring for contractors, particularly those who are looking to own their own homes or potentially dip a toe into the mortgage market. Uh, one of the key manifesto pledges from all three major political parties is the housing shortage in the UK and what this may bring uh, going forward in the next Parliament. Uh, whilst uh, everyone says that the housing shortage is something they intend to address, um, it is uh, being looked at in very different ways by the different parties. If we look at the, uh, the likely candidates for, for part of the next government, um, who are obviously the Tories and Labour, uh, the Tories have, uh, have launched in the last budget the Help to Buy ISA, uh, where the, uh, the, the government will put in additional funds into a savings account if it's being used for the purpose of a deposit for a property. Uh, they see that as one of the key ways in which they can stimulate the lower end of the market, i.e. the first-time buyers, uh, to kickstart the upper end of the market. Uh, Labour have taken a very different view. Uh, they're pledging to, to pump more money into brownfield sites and, and encourage uh, development of the, uh, of the new build sector. Um, which, uh, to be completely frank, all the parties will need to do in order to address the housing shortage. Now, with regards to mortgages themselves, um, the Conservatives have come in with uh, a kickstart of the right to buy sector, um, you know, revisiting what Margaret Thatcher did back in the 80s, uh, you could say, uh, maybe in a, in a ploy to, to win votes. Um, however, it has proven to be quite popular in the past and um, there are many, particularly in and around London, um, who should be able to benefit from being able to buy their council homes for uh, a much lower price. Now, with regards to mortgage availability in general, as a result of the, uh, the election uh, and the new government, the reality is there is a lot of uncertainty because nobody really knows what's going to happen. It is the most closely fought election campaign um, with so many permutations about who could form a coalition government and that nobody really knows how that's going to affect the availability of mortgages going forward. In the short term, uh, there is quite a lot of benefit to contractors uh, because we do have record low interest rates. We have the opening up of lending criteria. Uh, we've had lenders like Scottish Widows Bank who've come in uh, very recently and, uh, and, and virtually replicated the uh, contractor policy of Halifax uh, with the additional benefit of some really flexible offset products. Um, so that's a really, really good sign for contractors going forward. Um, one would hope it will continue regardless of which government comes in because um, most governments will hopefully uh, be loath to tinker with, uh, with mortgage regulation. But the reality is, who really knows? Um, so we will look at the, uh, the post-mortem of the election uh, immediately after uh, the general election on the 7th of May. And my next blog will look at uh, the likely prospects for contractors looking for mortgage funding in the UK given that we all know uh, who the new government is. And, um, Hopefully we can see which direction uh, contractors can, uh, can plan for as a result. Thank you very much for listening. I look forward to sharing my thoughts with you next month.